quick. And bam. And even if you say some nonsense in the beginning, you can trim it later. So we are getting started with some Fall Guys. <laughs> with Redbeard26. A Redbeard guy, 26. Yeah, yeah gotta add the yeah. guy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, it's not like uh, you can say my name anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not even gonna try. <coughs> Spare Kestrel. Spare Kestrel. <laughs> you know, we could also make a channel that's like when we play games together or something. Or things that we both contribute to in an easier yeah. way. We could do that for us. We could. But, I mean, we could spend days on us if we wanted to videotape it. I was gonna do an intro for it at one point, but uh, I just yeah. feel like unless I train not enough, I will kind of screw up. Now we gotta get the balls to our goal, I believe. So I'm gonna pull this one back. Oh no 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 no! Oh god, there's still other balls. Those are my Don't balls. Take balls. Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, Bobby. I want that ball. Get back it. Ooh, get the ball. I'm with you, comrade. Oh no, the ball go. Comrade ball. Pikachu, that should be your name. Comrade <laughs> Pikachu. Oh no. <laughs> Comrade Pikachu. No, don't give it to the blue. Ooh. What the hell's wrong with you? Ah, you dick. You think you're all cool because you get a head <laughs> <on you? laughs> No! Okay, so we suck at fall guys. I just want everybody to know this. <laughs> Oh, we're, hey. we're not used to this, at least. Never said we would get the dub the little ball, guys. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna do defense a little, because I feel like nobody's... No! No, good sir. Where are you yellow yet, or are you... Uh, yeah, I'm still talking about the yellow, guys. Okay. Get up out of here. No! We're screwing with blue a little bit. Blue is defending like crazy. Oh yeah, they got four up in that magic goal, man. I know, I'm gonna give it to fucking yellow, even. Ah! We got pwned here. Not even gonna lie. Oh, Bob! We just... Okay. Dang. Oh, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's okay. It's okay. It's like bowling. You don't ever count the first game. Don't tell everybody that we played, like, three games before this. <laughs> What? You pre-gamed? Pre-game workout, man. <laughs> Sponsor? No. <laughs> Bang! You wanna drink G Fuel? You wanna drink something that's really gonna get you hyped? Try some pre-work. <laughs> uh, um, one second. Uh, kinda like product just, pending. <laughs> I just had a red thought. What's the equivalent white boy? Thing to pumpkin spice. Pre workout. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to try a squad trios? I feel like we'd have more luck with this. Sure, I'm done. I was gonna try and do the festival, but obviously we're not yeah, ready for that. Yet. Not a thing. Maybe in a next one or something. I don't know. We'll try it again. Maybe in the next video. We'll see what happens. I don't like to promise anything because. You never know. <laughs> He's got a point. You know, I feel like that's what we're missing in our lives. We need leather jackets. I mean, I got mine now. If you need one. I don't understand leather jackets. Oh, oh dude, I was like, I mean, when I had that on, I was standing out there, also in the wind blew, and I'm just like... You don't feel nothing, oh, yeah. I don't feel the wind. Like, I turned, and I had my back towards the wind, and I'm just like, oh, there is no wind penetration. But see, I get that. But... Isn't it gonna freeze? And then you got like a giant cold mass on you? Like I could see if you had a leather jacket and then a regular jacket over it. But then again, it wouldn't look cool like that. Speaking of leather jackets, have you ever seen Sons of Anarchy? No. no. That show is crazy. I remember my parents used to watch it when I was younger and I kind of watched a little and I started watching a little bit more. That show is condensation for stuff to freeze. I feel like I I grew up with a lot of bikers, 
so I know that it will get cold and it will freeze eventually. Like it'll just get eventually, stiff. Yeah. It'll get stiff. Yeah. But you won't feel it as much depending on what's on the inside. We should make custom leather jackets with fuzzy stuff on the inside. Yes. Nobody will see it, and you'll still look cool. <laughs> it could be on the merch. Dude. Yeah, guys, keep keep your eyes open. A merch shop could be in the works. That could be a dude, thing. We could be the next cloak. <laughs> oh God. Yes, dude. You, you could be my Jacksepticeye. <laughs> I am totally down. You can be my Jacksepticeye. 100%, let's go. See, I don't think we'd make too much money right away, because we don't have as much exposure, and the cost for quality things is more, but if we work at a loss, like with some decent jobs, we could possibly push out more. But I also wouldn't really be too comfortable with pushing out junk, you know? Right. <clears throat> I'm going for the middle. I got this. <gasps> nope. Nope. But I didn't die. Oh, you lucky back. I got yeeted. Yeet. I got yeeted to a side one. I actually oh. don't mind this one. I don't mind this one either. Oh, dang, that was a nice boost. Our friend's just standing there at the end. Like, what the hell are you doing, bro? He's probably like, are those guys gonna make it? Am I gonna be the lone survivor? Well, we're not gonna qualify if it doesn't go up. Okay, I think he went out. Jump, 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 jump! Oh, he did not go up. He did. He got the skull over his head. Oh, we... No, he didn't. What the hell, dude? They call me Lucky. You are not Lucky. Where are you going? Where are you going, good oh. sir? We need another person for this. Oh, those dudes that we used to play with. That'd be cool. You are not oh, lucky. Yeah, Johnny, be good. I don't like this guy. He's a cool Twitch streamer if anybody wants to check him out. I'm not entirely sure what his Twitch name is, though, do you? He's way better at Fall Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, he pulled us a while back. Dude's a pro. You wouldn't be able to see the footage because that's one of the reasons I left Twitch, is because I don't mind doing Twitch. But I wanted to stay there for more than two weeks, you know? If there was a way to flip the person off in our team, I would give him the bird. Right? Or like oh, block bird, him from bird, playing bird. again? Bird is the word. A bird, oh, bird, bird. You know, bird is the word. Maybe as a kid he's just confused. That's okay. That kid looked confused. He ran all the way through the course and then he ran all the way back to the course. That kid was not confused. <laughs> Huh. That was blame incompetence for your team. If he didn't like us, he shouldn't have played with us. <laughs> See, I wanted to say you were that Jacksepticeye, but you sound a lot more like a Markiplier. <laughs> Are you a masochist? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We wouldn't tease him if we didn't like him. <laughs> I still watch every video that comes up. I feel like I'm not loud enough to be a Jacksepticeye. Did you not, you have to watch his early videos, dude. He was really quiet, and he tried to do this American accent. It's all about, well yeah, you gotta watch his old stuff, because PMA, that was all about finding your voice, because he felt, he wasn't confident enough in himself in the beginning, you know? Which I can understand, that's part of the reason why I started doing this, is because he's usually really freaking quiet. But that's just about not being confident enough, and everybody hates the sound of their old voice, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Like, I can hear an echo, and it's kind of weird, I'm like, cringy. Oh, it's not a bad thing, I'm just saying. When you hear your own voice, it's cringy. We're just playing in the same room, that's why. And I'm probably a little loud, that's why I got both in, because I'm not trying to be too loud, but I'm also trying to be heard. kind of helps with dulling your senses a little. Yeah, you still hear an echo? Echo? No. How'd you do that? Oh, oh no, my I head, do. My headphones have uh, mic sense, or yeah, mic sensitivity oh. adjustment, like right here. I always have it turned up so I can hear a slight echo when I'm recording. Yeah. So now I can still hear, now I hear the gas. Yeah. Alright, that, here we go. Mic sensitivity will also make your voice louder. You can do that in the PlayStation thing. That's what Mac used to have me do because I'm so quiet. Yeah. 
so I do have my mic sensitivity boosted up so that might be another reason I hear myself because yeah because if you can imagine it I'm even quieter than what you hear right now <laughs> Redbeard can testify there he is it's horrible when that one dude said I was loud I was such a good compliment I was like oh <laughs> like thank you good sir that somebody hears me It's all about that bias when you grow, get raised, where they're like, don't speak unless you're spoken to, or nobody wants to hear from you kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I actually talked to my dad about that a little bit the one day. Cause you know why they do that? The, the adults? It's the insecurities from the older people, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's kind of what he told me, because, like, I asked him, because, uh, you know, the girlfriend's, uh, uncle's, well, I guess her, would be her cousin, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, her cousin, something like that, uh, he guess he used to be, get big, in, or he's big into politics and stuff, but the dude's, like, 12, and so, you know, anytime that he would ever try and talk to everybody would always tell me, no, 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 stay quiet, da, 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 and I was just like, oh, well shit, that's the way that I used to be when I was younger, like, big into politics, you know, I wanted to talk to the adults about them too, like, hey, you know, I, I know what's happening, like, I want to be a part of the conversation, and so I asked my dad about it, like, hey, how did you deal with it, like, because you always used to let me talk, and he's like, you would never talk unless you knew what you were talking about, he's like, that's when I would let you talk, because... You know, yeah, the other adults would kind of look at me funny when you would start to talk, but the minute that you would get on a topic and know what you're talking about as that topic, he's like, everybody was just blown away by it, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, well, that's so, something you should teach your children, too, is not to talk in ignorance. Yeah. Like, I like to give myself a little backing before I say anything, you know? It's like I was saying about the, how I thought about that conspiracy about fucking Africa, man. I looked that stuff up. Like one of my last friends, I guess that's not his real name, so we could say it. Fucking Lopez, he was. He always said people were super ignorant because they never backed up what they talked about. Or they'd talk about these dreams that they had, but they never actually followed through. And they never actually looked up how to achieve those things. It was just something to talk about. You know, because everybody just wants to be heard, but if you're going to talk a bunch of crap, nobody's going to listen. I feel like I just piss off older people too much, so... But you know, that's the whole Aries thing, man. Bullheaded, gotta confront all issues. <laughs> well, I feel like that's one thing that the older generation is definitely... Uh had a hard time adjusting and that is that you know when they were born and raised their you know parents and or grandparents or whatever you want to say we're always told you don't challenge the elders you don't challenge the elders and then our generation comes in and we're the, we're the generation that's just like oh we don't do that well we're gonna just go ahead and do that anyways and see what happens and it's not out of disrespect, though, is what they don't understand. Yeah, they don't understand that, no, we're not doing this to be, you know, assholes or anything like that. It's just a matter of just trying to, to me, the way that I would think it is, is more of an understanding of, hey, why do you guys have this belief? Like, where did it come? Oh, crap, that's the answer. That way, yeah, you, you just did what I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, where does this come from, you know? Somebody obviously had to have this thought at some point in time. Why was why was it a thought? What happened to, you know, what happened to make this be a thing that is now a permanent thing? Like, we have laws on our books that are still there to this day. Like, in my hometown, <clears throat> it was, uh, no woman could walk on the left hand of the street on a Sunday after <laughs> 5 o'clock. Yep, after 5 p.m. And that is because on, if I'm not mistaken, the left hand of our all of our streets are the side that all of the bars are on. So, way back in the day when the town was first being established, that became law. They didn't want the women walking on that side with all the bars. 
And to this day, if a cop really decides that he does not like a woman, he can give her a ticket. It probably will not hold up in court, but he can still put it on the books that she got a ticket for walking on the left side of the road after 5 o'clock on a Sunday. The one thing I can say that I like about her judicial system is that if she does take this to court, they will laugh the cop out, and more than likely he'll either get a suspension or termination. I've actually seen and dealt with things kind of like that. You Which know, is valid, I mean don't get me wrong, that definitely should happen. It, uh, to me, it just blows my mind that that would be something that would still be relevant to this uh -huh. day. Like, we need to have... Oh, it's harder to change a law than to make a law. Yeah. But just to be clear for everybody watching, like, we have nothing against the police force or the judicial system because most of them, yes, they will respect you and all of your rights. It's just the little few that don't is usually the problem. And even so, I mean, I'd still give them the same respect because... That's just me. Like I'm used to. If if you can avoid dealing with something crazy like that, you might as well, because people are usually decently ignorant about situations. Bobby. <laughs> it's all right. Me and dude are gonna hold it down. Oh no, I'm running. It's not good. No. Oh That's what I got me. I was running. Oh, we're still in it. He can still do it. Dude's got us. He's, He's gonna, gonna live. Us. Live, man, live! Nope, he screwed up. Oh, it. what? That's nuts. This dude's a pro. Thank God for Calorosaurus. <laughs> you got this, bro. Uh, so, just to kind of sum up a little bit of like what he was saying. It, I agree with his philosophy 100%. The way that I have always seen things is just don't poke the damn bear. I mean, it's not worth it. To a point, I mean, like, if things are gonna be dealt with, ah, oh, they'll be dealt with, you know, like, they'll get to it eventually, but you can't sway everyone. No. And at one point, they're just gonna make your life a living hell. So, why would you bring that on yourself? Unless you really are like Markiplier, do you like pain? <laughs> not overly, like, I'm not a huge fan of it. <clears throat> Wait, maybe I'm the Markiplier. I did have somebody slap me once. You remember that? Oh, dude, I did too. I had my crap rocks one day when I was up at the club. I asked for it, remember? And they were so excited. I was like, I'll just do it. I won't feel it anyways. <laughs> See, at least you asked for it. I had two people pay for it to be done. Oh, I remember that one time with the belt. Was oh, that you? Dude, 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 oh, yeah. No. We're not going to talk about that time with the belt, okay? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my uncle wants to go somewhere like that. Every time he asks me to hang out, oh, we're not in. No. <laughs> oh, but every time he asks to hang out, which I want to, you know, because he's been going through some stuff, and he is my uncle. He always asks me at the end, "Are there any cute girls around?" Got that level up. And all I ever think is, well, I have my buddy Redbeard over here. I could ask him to bring you to a club one day, but then I'm like, eh. Because he's used to being in, like, more of a party atmosphere. But he doesn't go there to, like, shower them with cash, which he probably would. But he's one of those older dudes that are, like, compliment. Water street. That would be funny. The water. That would be funny. Because <laughs> he'd, he'd literally go up to girls and be like, oh, you know, you're super beautiful. And if they got all weird, he'd be like, no. I have no intention of sleeping with you. I just want you to know. Oh fuck yeah, let me do water this dude. <laughs> but the dude's loaded too, that's why I was thinking it's like, we could bring him up someplace. All he really wants to do is talk to chicks. <laughs> oh yeah. We got time, we're good. <laughs> Alright, we're doing another squad and trio. Let's An go. Another thing I learned, apparently, you will drive down your watch time if you ever say you're gonna end it at an X amount of time. Because then they'll be like, well, I don't wanna watch them just play one more, or two more, or three more, you know? God, I gotta get in and get freaking glasses.
I tried to, so I have tried to call Walmart Optometry and I have tried to go into Walmart Optometry because I want to find out if they have a doctor actually on site so I can get new glasses because these ones are all sorts of jacked up. Man, it's going to hurt with these. I was going to say, have you ever tried contacts? I have when I was younger. I can't do the eye thing, but... Like, when I, yeah, that was my thing when I was younger, and this is keep in mind back when I was like 11 and 12. And now I think about contacts, but at the same time, every time I've ever not had my glasses on... Take them off once. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Actually, yeah. you might it, be a little right. You just gotta get it more time to, like... Because, you know, it's not that you have... Adjusted people. See, don't even say it's not that I have, don't have no. a face. It's, I have a glasses face, and I have oh. been told that, and I respect that. Like, no, I've it, worn glasses since I was probably less than two years old, so I respect that. Well, not exactly that you have a glasses face. It's more like <laughs> we're all accustomed to seeing you with glasses. Yeah. But without the glasses, too, it's, you know, they would get used to it. Yeah, it'd be an adjustment. I agree. And my thing is, honestly, when it comes to contacts, I, I just... I can't put things in my ass. I can't yeah. even do eye drops, dude. I don't even know if I'd be able to do them, honestly. Like, I would rather just get a nice new pair of glasses, because these ones are kind of bent. And with the headphones, that's why I bought the more... the upgraded Turtle Beach ones, because they have glasses, glass wear comfortability, and they really are comfortable to wear, even with glasses on, which is surprising. Oh, the ones you got on now? Yeah, but I just need to get glasses that actually fit my face. I was thinking at first, my first thought was, can you get some cool, like, dual monocles? <laughs> <laughs> was that you who just flipped with me? That was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for left. Alright. Oh, snap. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, that's what we call a speed run, boys and girls. We understood oh. that assignment, dude. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Look at that, still in first place. 110 out of 101, bro. That was beautiful. Oh. That's like a highlight reel right there. <laughs> I know, right? I wish I had the software to make clips. I need to get a computer eventually. Though. Like, once I start getting money coming through, like... I'm not gonna put everything into it, but I'm definitely gonna put some aside. Like even if it's like 20 bucks a week or something. I told uh, told Katie I've been actually looking at getting a second job, just some work like three days a week, like a serving position or something. Cause number one, my drive go to Taco Bell isn't bad, but at the same time, my drive is also getting to be a little expensive now with gas prices getting to be the way they are. <clears throat> Taco Bell, bro. That's, yeah, Dude, I've been they had about such it. bad staffing that we went there at 5 or 4 p.m. and then we're closing. And they pay you daily, and it's like $17 an hour. Yeah, I might throw in an app for that tomorrow. I'm not even going to lie. I might just do it just for the fuck of it. Cause... I'm not sure if they pay daily anymore, but I know that they have a very serious staffing issue. Yeah. And they pay decent. Like, because at this point in time, I'm saving up to go to Vegas. I got that coming up in May. And then after that, it's going to be uh, me looking for a different full time position that doesn't involve me working weekends constantly. Because I miss <laughs> having a life on a weekend. Yeah, that. Mm, money, no, matter but... no matter what, even if the old lady was to go and like conform to your schedule, you're not going to be able to convince everyone to. <laughs> Yeah. So that would basically be your life. And it's not even that, like, my schedule's like, I don't mind it at all. It's yeah. just... It's a good I'm schedule, I'd do it. Looking at going back to school for uh, getting into Reiki healing and stuff, and then that involves going to conventions and actually having time on my weekends, because come, come March... I'll be work. I'll have worked an entire year of straight weekends, like having off during the week, which sounds ideal because it's like, oh, you have all this free time, which I did, kind of, in a sense. But when nobody else has, you know, those days off and everybody's at work and you ain't got time to go and chill out with friends, like, it sucks. I'm not even gonna lie, it kind of sucks. But. It's still That's a good okay. job, but... Oh, yeah, definitely. Still a great job. And Ain't even got if, no complaints about it. Even if you'd want to, like, still do that... Oh, sweet, we made it. Even if you'd want to still 
do something like that. I'm sure if you talk to them, they'd work something out, kind of, you know, like, yeah. maybe you don't work a Friday and you work a Tuesday or you don't work a Sunday or a Saturday and then you work a Wednesday or something. I've actually thought about switching down to part-time and just having Sundays off. Huh. Like, work down there two days a week, get a job at, like, Taco Bell up here, make that $17 <laughs> an hour, too. That's such a long drive. Like... I can think of at least three places, cause what is it like, 23, 24-ish, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I could think of at least two places that would match. The only thing is, and this is nothing against people not wanting to work, cause I understand that whole conflict, but they need some people so bad that yeah, it's always a staffing issue, like you were saying. You know? Mm -hmm. And in they that always... way, they're always gonna treat you inhumanly. You know? Yeah. Which, well, I mean, in in a sense, I think it all kind of depends on where you're at, too. You gotta learn how to talk. Like, remember when we were doing Saputo, and they're really strict, and how I talked to the supervisor? It wasn't as, like, a conflict. It was more conflict resolution. Like, hey, I like you, I like what we're doing here, but I can't take this. I'm just being honest with you. Oh, I failed. Oh, no. But oh. I couldn't kick it that much, you know? <gasps> it's all up to you. Oh, uh, it's all up to you. <laughs> we're out, aren't we? I don't know, we're in fourth. We got Hot Dog Man, he's like flirting nope. with death, I feel like. Now we're out. Oh. Oh crap, I shouldn't have quit that early. It's alright, you get the points. <laughs> I got 41k, it's good. Damn. We know. Yeah, all of our dudes and were honestly, out. honestly, like, it's not even with the money, because I figured it out. And if I got a job that was around... That almost looks like the one I was showing you. <laughs> it does, dude. 11k. Oh, I got that. But even if I got a job around here that would pay me 18 to 20, it'd be the same equivalent as what I'm making down there, just because of the fact that I'm saving so much on gas. I was gonna say, you're gonna save all that gas, yeah. Yeah, yeah gas is a big thing. I don't know what the tax break it is, but I'm pretty sure you might have been over that extra tax break at 23, you know? Because I think it goes like... Anything over 10, everything over 13, anything over 15, or something along them lines. I want to say 20 is like the hot spot, but I'm not sure. It does look kind of like it. I just, I really wish they wouldn't give me the buns, man, like the dual uh, ponytails or pigtails. I'm, I'm still rocking it. I'm a rock that. Mm -hmm. Go for it, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Where you at? Where you at? There he is. Dang it, it's got a coconut bra, though. Why can't it be a coconut bra? If it was a coconut bra, I would feel so much better about life. So, the one thing about doing pre records is we have to figure out. I know we're not that big yet, but just to get into it in case anything did happen, we have to come to a conclusion about the schedule of it. Now, I have something for today already, but I was going to put this up tomorrow. And I can teach you how to schedule it so you don't even have to touch it to do it again. You know, like just set it up to set it out. But that way, later in the game, and right now it doesn't even really matter. But later in the game, that way, they can't see yours or mine, and then already see both the videos, basically, you know? I mean, there's still a little bit of concepts that we'd see between both playthroughs, because what happened to Redbeard, or what happened to Sparecast, you know, you never know. You could be talking the whole time, but I wouldn't <laughs> be able to see it. Good. Okay. Yeah, so should I start hmm, mine then? Oh, you didn't start yours yet? No, I haven't started mine yet. <laughs> <laughs> um. There's about. I would start yours in a minute. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Zach screw up, but Zach's supposed to be. Oh no, you're fine. Okay. I'm, I was like, just letting you know for future reference. I figured you were going too. But uh, that's okay too. I want to figure out how to in Fortnite to do that push to talk crap. Because then when I'm doing like an outro or something and you're not around, I can like take off the push to talk and say everything and then be like later. And then you not hear me because I feel like that's cringe. <laughs> it's cringe. Oh my god. See? See, tell me I am not a. You're a mix. Seinfeld Kramer. You got the Seinfeld qualities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a straight up George. I mean, be proud, you bro. Are. You are a George. <laughs> just call me Mr. Constanza. <laughs> I love it though. Are you gonna start? Oh shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're watching Seinfeld with the subtitles on. <laughs> Cause if you do get three copyrights, unless you resolve it, you'd have to make a whole different YouTube channel to get partnered or the equivalent. Yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. I just took all my. No, it said copyright infringement or whatever, some shit. Like, I deleted the video. I was like, nope. I can okay. look at that studio I brought up, which is still in your web browser, by the way. And you can open up the regular one for mobile at the same time. So if you leave it there, you never have to do all that weird stuff I showed you. You can actually see if there's a copyright claim and click on it to figure out what it was actually about. At least to know for next time, you know? Because to be honest, I think it was just because you hadn't clicked that it wasn't explicitly for kids, but it wasn't restricted from them. And you probably just said something weird and they were like, no, you're going to poison our youth. Which I'm not saying that it's not for kids. I'm just saying we're not exclusively for kids. Because the audience can stretch wherever. It could be younger people, that's fine, you know? Sometimes I play with younger people, I probably don't even know I'm playing with them. But, we're grown guys here. We might say something weird sometimes. <laughs> or talk about topics that some people might deem for their kids. It all depends on where you are mentally as a child, too. You know, like, with me, I could see all that, and I can understand. But with more impressionable kids, I could see why they needed the kids app, you know? Yeah. Because they could say what we said earlier about the whole systems and stuff and be like, oh, screw the police, but that's not our intention, you know? Just get impre the impression the wrong way. As long as we don't have... Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Let's not no, let's not go. Let's not go. Uh oh, they're taking me out to the field. I feel like a dog. I don't wanna go to the farm. I don't oh. want to chase the squirrels, man. You can't make me. Holy crap, that was luck. Okay, what's going on? We're in ninth place. Where is everybody? I am nope, falling to the sky. Ooh, I qualified. Like a non-rocket man. Ooh, yeah, you're in front of the slippers, huh? I honestly don't think we're going to make it. Nope. <laughs> nope. You know what? We're just gonna... Aha! Oh, I forget this is you. I thought the other oh, person snap. is in front oh, of you. Snap. Oh, snap. Dang, dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, <laughs> Bobby. Troll. Troll, troll, troll. You know, there is... I'm told... I think I have came up with my conclusion as to what I'm gonna do with that back room. Hmm. I'm turning it into an office. Bobby! <laughs> you know what? Uh, you know what? This is why we call it fall, guys. Because all we do is fall. You have to fall in the right way, remember? Yes, it is st strategic falling. Hmm. Anyways, I'm turning it into an office. Yeah. 
complete. Okay, I'm gonna get a computer set up and stuff back there. Like it's gonna be in a place where her and I can go and get stuff done. So you want to do like editing and stuff with your channel? I could be an editor for you and work with you. But first, we must both learn editing. <laughs> yes. Because I don't know if you saw what I was looking at in the other one, but it is a lot of bells and whistles. Learn editing, and then I told her, because she wants to go to school, and she actually wants to go to school for marketing, and I kind of looked at her, and I was just like, I'm going to invest in your future. It's all money, bro. Yeah. I can market on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with just cash. Oh yeah, money talks. But, with that being said, I think I'm going to end this video here. Hey, so hey. I'll catch y'all later.